Day one discount thirsty hydrate outlaw titty ESG mandate Corey and devs instantly outdo you let them do you better than you in for a tit in for the tatter here is your hair clip lick up my batter this is a paid skin rock steady crazy gender swapped asian lesbian lazy stay puff flintlock dei plan don't look like a lady more a michelin man shribble dabble glibble glabble shribble swap glob you are the glob glow gab galab ea sims removes wife and husband girl and boy to sweet baby offend profits decline and the west don't care woke makes asians millionaires act punk but dick down by the man agree with the message while you can moist man choo choo goes on hiatus if we were books would norman raid us too scared to make laura raid the tomb manly woman but please consume angry moth to a kyle flame 10 years edging finally came come see my cars before you get fired bungee layoffs latin expired nexon celebrate summer vacation no kink insert crotch cremation big titty beta testers extinguish my hot cock fire no need to speak english you made a modern audience game so don't be surprised when nobody came Hello, beta testers. Thank you from the bottom of my fantasies about you for your likes, comments, and subscriptions that genuinely overcame the YouTube boss with a subscriber siphon buff permanently active. In English, YouTube was routinely unsubscribing many people, so I appreciate you in playing its bizarre game. I'd love to hear your suggestions for how we should celebrate, so message and fan art in the Discord or Twitter, and be merry. It'll take nothing to herald in a gaming renaissance because the bar's so low we can just step over it. I am not sorry for what must seem like a hyper fixation on looks to the uninitiated, but as a gamer, I'm sure many of you understand what a truly divine weak spot this is that's so easy to communicate that compromises their whole little war. Oh God, dude, I, you know, I do this to you, you did it to yourself, fuck. Any and everything that they create and vandalize could never compare to something as simple as Lara Croft and the explosion culturally that would have because, wow, who the hell would have a problem with that? Oh, oh they do, of course. The people who don't have a sense of humor. <sighs> But there's no time to laugh about it now, beta testers. Bungie has been hit with layoffs, 220 employees, which is somehow only 17% of their workforce. Other people are being rolled into other places, and the former CEO apparently invited people out to check out his sweet, expensive cars two days ago. Two, two, like two days ago before now, before the layoffs, you know? Maybe this is petty of me to say because, ironically, I'm certain a bunch of the pretty titty beta testers listening to this right now have more going on, ooh, God, you know what I'm saying, than some of the entities that this guy was trying to impress two days before they got fired? Some people apparently found out via tweet, damn. What's unfortunate is how many people do not believe that we deserve anything f for simply disagreeing with them. Forget entertainment. If you merely disagree with these people, you're somehow what they're going to justify hating. Because to them, you don't qualify for human privilege. And honestly, sometimes looking at some of them, you could understand how someone might feel that way. Let's look at this illustration here again, because I use Doris from Shrek to illustrate to people how deliberate the uglification process process is, how they know what to avoid as not to accidentally arrive upon pretty. Pretty are the minds in this minefield and they delicately navigate with skill catalyzed by insecurity and a bottomless reservoir of hate. Impressive. 
because even they all know they suck and they know it and they clap their hands. And they're forced to latch onto that pre-existing thing that they're going to ruin and inject themselves and their kinks and their fruity fucking <laughs> experiences. A literal remake of the old based thing that, you know, people are trying to escape this crap with. But, ooh, lady gotta be ugly because hot, steamy, unsubtle propaganda need you to stop it with the bigoted preferring women without dick and balls privilege Ooh. you know my culture ran here as a refuge to get away from you mainstream cocksuckers so watching gaming not only go mainstream but become the biggest money maker means i now have the privilege of watching legendary arguable masterpieces like silent hill 2 fall to bloober team who have developers just old, lonely, and psycho enough to think that what anyone sick of modern slop enough to buy remakes really wants in is modern day political corrections and identity politics injections in their escape entertainment, you dumb motherfucker, because falling in line with your sensibilities as a person who has decided to live as another gender for probably less of your life than you were the other one, which I emphasize to illustrate how far removed you are from the people making up the majority of the audience that you would need to market this thing to, it's like, how the fuck could you guys stay afloat? How the fuck we looking at anything but more layoffs forever, my nigga? Forever, my nigga? Pull that like trigger on this button. Greedy, uninformed, overpaid, and out of touch activists on that lazy performative grind recognize that the most accessible avenue to cruise down what they grift <laughs> is to start saying shit like, I'm Indian, if that benefits me right now, or I'm black, if that benefits me right now. I feel a 100k titty celebration benefits me, but I wouldn't lie to set that up. There's no integrity in that. What I really want to do today is just read reddit thread of e even the normies in that echo chamber are used to being tased or banned if they step too far outside of that approved opinion motherfucking zone even voicing their opinions there got the thread locked so let me just this isn't my words finally it's how how do people even inside the cuck containment unit feel about these Updates to how women must look in Western games. Silent Hill 2, brought to you by the developers who made that Was This Room Like This Before I Turned Around video game? Did that... Did the lights just flicker? Bling, bling. Oh my fucking jump scare! Here are the comments on this uh, Reddit thread with a, <laughs> it's, you know, it's just giving some Sushi Squad appreciation. The top comment just says, you're fucking with me. I don't know what WB was thinking putting all that money into a game that was an obvious flop. Why don't they want to make money? At free, it'd be too expensive. Is that a drowned baby? <laughs> it's not a sweet one. Is that you, Sandy? So fuck it, SpongeBob. What the hell is that? Good God, take me back to 2015 Arkham. I guess they decided it was a complete and total train wreck, so no point trying to change course. You know, this iceberg's not gonna hit itself. <laughs> Who the hell decided to put Kim Jong un in a frozen spacesuit? They did. Let it go. 98 percent of live service games losing the whole player base in the first couple of months and ending up as a huge flop dead husks in the business suits that sit on top in video game corporations all oh, those fat cats let's make a live service game and make it as greedy and obnoxious as possible hey that sounds exactly like what first descendant did with their vacation update you've been enjoying some of that b-roll Ooh man and they may have gotten my money for just you know i do this for the entertainment of the stream i'm not saying you guys should do it but also i don't know maybe i feel like i should be supporting this because all this ugly stuff is kind of crazy back to the comments on this ugly thing horse armor was worst thing to happen to gaming you know even the horse armor was prettier than that why does Mr. Freeze have boobs? <laughs> How dare you misgender that video game? Those polygons! They just want more sensitivity in that mature game. Why is this mature game so mature? Arnold Schwarzenegger is better Freeze than this. Put a chicken in it and make it lame. Stop making ugly characters. They made Mr. Freeze lesbian, I see. 
She looks like she farted and she's stuck in her own fart cloud. They turned Mr. Freeze into a woman, made her a lesbian. That'll, that'll help with sales. I wouldn't blame her, Nora, if she wanted to remain frozen. Oh, are the liberal activists behind these skins really so out of touch with reality that they think this would be a hit? This is an act of terrorism. <laughs> Rocksteady needs to get shut down by the, and it gets cut off. I don't know if I was drunk while I was fucking, hold on. Somehow I doubt a lesbian would find this attractive. Why do Western Studios have a hard on for making the ugliest characters known to man? Is this a gift? You know what I'm saying? You think you, you think you just accidentally arrive on this? No. And that's what I was trying to prove to y'all, man. It's just delivery. You know what I'm saying? This is how it happened. This is how the Rocksteady died. Oh, man. Fuck modern games are just falling apart. I pray GG2 makes these companies wake up to reality. Snap back. Uh, oh sweet, so they'll pay me to put that on my character? How much will they give me? The devs don't care. They care more about an agenda and narrative than they do entertainment, art, and gaming. Mm, man, some people really waking up in here, you know what I'm saying? Wow. The thing that blows my mind is this had to go through several different levels of development, all costing time and money, and no one was willing to stand up and be like, Yeah! No one's going to buy this! He's fired! You are fired and you're sexually harassing me by being in the room right now! When say something right now, it better be the right gender! It better be the right identity for today! And they're wiggling their hands. Mega Shiva, Mega Shiva. If WB went the miHoYo route and made everything sexy, they wouldn't have this problem. Tell them again, tell them again. Damn. Nice shit show you have here, WB. And you know that they they wheeled those Rocksteady employees down into the definitive edition Hogwarts mines and said, You get to work down there. What kind of coffee would you like? You know how I like it. I do know how you like it. Can I use my mouth instead? I've been real good at that for the last 10 years. <sighs> Between this and Concord, I think studios are now seeing how bad they can make a character look. There is, this is just the beginning. Just you wait and see. You, you think Vitiligo is some sort of area that they're, oh, you know, the, this is, Vitiligo is just the beginning, okay, of the pandering. When you are constipated and suffocating at the same time, all they had to do was add Arkham City, Mr. Freeze. I pay to never see this shit. Looks like a Concord character. I think you get it. Patron sponsors, I love you. Let's do a stream and just watch some people summarize what's going on here because, ooh, it's, it's, is there, it, ooh, and I'm gonna play some First Descendant? You know, ooh, I'm gonna.